us our family. In life, we are faced with a number of different challenges. And some of those challenges, is, it, it has a way in on us mentally and emotionally. And if I'm honest, when that began to happen, I don't really feel like doing too much or nothing. Because I'm embracing the feeling of what I'm feeling at the time. I'm embracing it a little bit too much. I'm giving it too much attention and power to a point where I'm not necessarily exhausted, but it's like, you know what? I, I don't even feel like doing this. I mean, you know, I'm speaking of my purpose work. You know what I mean? Like every day, every day I have a task. Every day God give me a task. And usually like, you know, like whether it's the day before, days before, I know what I'm supposed to do every single day. And, you know, one minute I'm motivated, you know, and next minute, not so much. But it's what we do, it's, it's what we do in those moments is what counts. Because if we only do what we're supposed to do when we feel like it, think about how often do we actually feel like doing doing something out of, uh, out, out of our comfort. You know what I mean? When it comes down to purpose, purpose work, like it's, it's, the base of it is faith and obedience. You know what I mean? Like doing something, not knowing what the result of it, sure, the goal is in place, but not sure if and when the outcome would be and doing this over and over and over again days and days months years at a time like it can be discouraging so it's it's easy to be like you know what honestly like I don't really feel like doing it today and it'll be legitimate it, it's not legitimate but it feels legitimate like I've you know what I mean? Like, I, I'm just going to take a break, but it ain't no breaks. It's just not. Like, sure, like, you know, like, you can... How can I put this? Because obviously we need rest. Obviously, like, you know, we need to, you know, like, take a breather. But, like, honestly, like, when it comes down to purpose work, doing God's work, there really, there's no break. There's no breaks period either we're in a field or we're we're not in a field but when we're not in a field we still preparing like we still have to make sure that that we're being fed spiritually in this word and being connected like we like it's no breaks you know what i mean like so there's times where like i don't i just don't feel like it you know what i'm saying today was one of them days well yesterday was one of them days i just didn't feel like it and it's like, it's like when it's like that, the energy is different, but we have to remember it's not always going to be convenient. It's not going to always be, um, um, within our comfort zone. It's not always going to feel good. It's not about a feeling. It's about obedience. It's about showing up regardless. It's about doing what you are supposed to do anyway, regardless of the feeling, regardless of the the uh, convenience of the circumstances and situation. Like we still have to execute because you know who not who not sleeping is the devil. You know what I mean? Like he's like he's him and his flunkies, like they are they are executing on a high level. We don't have time to breaks. Like we're supposed to be doing this for the kingdom. There's no breaks. There's no days off. You know what I mean? Like period. So bring it down. You know, I can get excited. What I'm trying to say is, like, although you don't feel like it, like, we, it's, it's still work that has to be done. We still have responsibilities. They're not going to take care of themselves. 
and we want God to do such like so many great things in our lives, bless us in so many ways, but we giving him, excuse my French, half ass work. You know what I mean? Like we we showing up and work not really feel like it. You know what I mean? And our energy is demonstrating that. It's displaying that. You know what I'm saying? Like have an attitude, being ungrateful. You know what I mean? Because we don't feel like it. So we have an attitude of of like, dang, why I got to do this? Or like, I'm just not going to do it anyway because I don't feel like it. Like we don't, honestly, like we don't have that choice. We just don't. You know what I mean? Like, so I just want to encourage us that to know that it's not always going to be, it's not going to always be convenient. It's not going to always be within our comfort zone. We're not going to always feel like doing it. But regardless of the situation, we have to show up and put in work, period. You know what I mean? Whether we're going to see the outcome of it today or tomorrow or not, it's it's faith. You know what I mean? Like, it's a faith walk. It's a journey. You know what I mean? Like, it says, without faith, it is, it, it is impossible to please God. Like, it is for real. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, we can, like, it's easy to get up and go to work. And we don't even put in our hour all when we go to work. But we go to work or whatever and we expect a check at the end of the week or two weeks or whatever. That's our motivation because we know we're going to get something at the end, uh, you know, at, at the end of the week or what have you. So it's easy for us to show up every single day. But when it comes down to the kingdom of God and doing things that's, you know, that's pleasing to him, like the motivation should be much, much more realer. He said that like, like for us, like your earthly father, like, you know, he, you know, gives gifts of whatever, so on and so forth. But how, how much more do you think your heavenly father will give? Like the one who created everything. Now understand it's not about, it's not about the gifts and receiving. Like, no, like, you know, it's about just wanting to do it for him. You know what I mean? Like, so it's not going to be easy. It's not going to be convenient, but like, please, please show up anyway. Our future is at hand. You know what I mean? Like our our kids' future is at hand. Like the devil is working overtime to steal our kids. Like that within itself should be motivation. You know what I mean? Like so just show up anyway. It's not gonna be easy. You know what I mean? Like just not gonna feel like it all the time. That's just the reality of it. But please do me a favor. Let's make a Let's make a, um, let's come in agreement that regardless of what the situation is, that we're going to show up anyway, whatever your purpose is, whatever God has instructed you to do, whatever you know you're supposed to do, even if it's just at home, whatever the responsibility is, spiritual responsibility, like our personal, whatever, just make the commitment to show up and do it anyway, because guess what? It has to be done. Why wait until later? I guarantee you, later is going to be much more of an inconvenience than it is now. I promise you that. And I'm pretty sure you can attest to that. But let's show up anyway. There's a lot of work that needs to be done. Like if God wake us, wake us up another day, he's not done with us, with us yet. That means our work isn't done yet. It's time for us to get on the ball. It's more than just going to our 9 to 5 putting in work just to get a check at the end of the week like god chose that job for a reason you know what i'm saying like we're supposed to be doing something for the kingdom there you know what i mean to where to where that job benefit it's our duty to so just show up anyway even if you don't feel like it. ask god to give you the strength and the wisdom let them know I really don't feel like doing it, but you bless me with this opportunity to do whatever it is you want me to do. What you need me to do right now. What you need me to do today. You know what I mean? Like, give me, give me what I need to be able to execute on a level that's pleasing to you and that's effective for the kingdom. You know what I mean? Like, and, and just and just place your your faith in that. Trust that he's gonna provide you with what it is. Don't wait for it to show up. Don't wait for it to kick in. Get the acting first. Get the moving first. Get the talking first. And I promise you, you will know by the time you're done with it or in the midst of you, like, dang, that's crazy. I'm not even tired anymore. That's crazy. I ain't even know what to say. Honestly, I ain't even know what to do. But it worked out well because you were obedient. Let's show up anyway. I love you guys. Stay blessed. Peace.